Hello, hello, Clarity Fitness friends and family. We are here today to talk a little bit about what our plans are moving forward as a gym, as a community, as a family, with safety, with corona, and most importantly, I know this is a frequented question, with timing. So, we all know that Governor Kemp has said that gyms can open at any point at this time. We have been closely monitoring CDC guidelines as well as what other area communities are doing, such as our local government offices, such as other gyms, such as gyms that are having a similar capacity to us. And we feel that as today, we are not yet prepared and not yet comfortable for all of our safety to be able to make that happen. However, we have set May 18th as a date that we are looking toward opening. Obviously, this is subject to change if things go crazy and if all of this craziness gets escalated, we're gonna have to stay in contact and shift that, but that is our hope right now. We have a really in-depth health and safety plan that we are ready to take on for both the safety of our team members as well as all of our beloved members, and we are really, really excited to get that rolling. I wanted to talk a little bit about what the gym is going to be doing once we are back open in the foreseeable future for the safety of everyone involved. The first big shift that we're making is timing. We will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and we won't be open on the weekends. We will also be making these online classes and online offerings available long term but classes will not be offered in person at this time. So classes will be virtually streamed as they have been and we might be leading the class from inside the group exercise space but we will not be allowing people to book spaces in person for now. The next thing that is different is that when people come to the gym we will be doing temperature screenings so if your temperature is above 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit we will not be able to to let you come in and we will need to ask you to get a doctor's notice that you're good to go to be able to re-enter the gym or wait it out 14 days and we will test the temperature again after that 14 day mark. We're going to be blocking off certain equipment to make sure that social distancing is still being taken advantage of so we will have every other piece of cardio equipment available for use. Every other one will be blocked off because of that six feet range. Other shifts are that we are going to be closing off the group exercise space, the two personal training rooms, and the back turf area. There are a ton of different pieces of equipment in all of those areas as well as lots of floor space to be taken advantage of and we are unable to make sure that we are thoroughly cleaning everything that everyone touches in each of those spaces because there is so much equipment. We want to make sure that although we're going to do a deep clean every night as well as after every single person comes into this gym, the risk of having two people back to back doing stuff on the floor of the turf and us not knowing exactly where they were sitting or exactly what turf blades of grass they were touching. We're really just wanting to make sure that we can keep everything absolutely spick and span and that will for sure be taken advantage of in that front workout area. Personal training will start to be in person again if you desire it to be so and feel comfortable doing that. We will make sure that the proper social distancing measures are in place and that the trainer stays far away from each of their personal training clients. Equipment will be wiped down before and after use in those sessions, but we will also still have that online option if that's what you prefer. So both in-person and online personal training, totally still an option and whatever is most comfortable for you. We also recommend that you wipe down all of the equipment that you touch before and after each use. We will also be coming up behind you to make sure that we are cleaning after you are done with your use of the equipment as well. 
We'll be disinfecting equipment regularly throughout the day. Each night, our entire facility is deep cleaned with hospital grade products. We are really, really, really taking this seriously and we are looking to our amazing Clarity Fitness family members to make sure that you guys are also following everything as strictly as we are. We need to make sure that we are keeping that social distancing strong inside and outside of the gym, especially while we're getting workouts in, potentially around other people. We need to make sure that we are on top of washing our hands upon entry into the facility, following all of the rules that will be posted around the gym about how to keep everyone safe and healthy, and really making sure that we are consistent in cleaning before, during, after, just rather be safe than sorry. And our Clarity team is devoted to make sure that that is how we are approaching this problem. We will be continuing to monitor all of the guidance from the CDC, from all of the different health organizations around fitness clubs specifically, as well as everything that we have learned throughout the last few weeks as to how other gyms are handling this problem and how they're keeping their members safe and healthy. And we are incredibly excited to start to get back to how we were doing things before. We are ready to go the extra mile to make sure that everyone's health and safety is our top priority. And we are also very, very excited to bring our family back together. We hope that this is great news for you. We understand that we are an important pillar of your health and recovery process. Thank you so, so much for listening. We hope that this video has been informative. As always, if you have any questions whatsoever, please email info at clarityfitness.com and we will make sure that they get answered immediately. Have a good one and stay safe.